And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we look at Sky News. I know you're going to be booing, but this is brilliant. Sky News is Kay Burley to be exact, as she is absolutely destroyed in an interview. This is absolutely brilliant. Everyone's going to love this. This is uh, an interviewee, Seb Gorka. Seb Lucas Gorka is a British-born Hungarian-American military and intelligence and analyst. He served as Deputy Assistant to the president in 2017 now he broadcasts salem radio show on youtube this is perfection watch it everyone mm. it's um a bit of a challenge as far as postal voting is concerned though isn't it and the president is not very happy about that perhaps you could talk to us in a bit more detail about that for our viewers back in the united kingdom Yes, uh, he's pointed out that this is an absolutely outrageous idea that Democrat governors have sent out unbidden more than 70,000 mail-in ballots. So we have in America, I've used it before, the absentee voting system, whereby if you're out of state, if you're traveling, if you can't make it to the polling station, you can formally request that your ballot be sent to you and then you mail it back. But what we're talking about is not the absentee voting, but the automatic sending out of millions and millions and millions of mail-in ballots, in many cases duplicates, in many cases erroneously sent to the former addresses of people who've moved out of the state. That's a fact, by the way. But we know Sky don't run on facts, don't we? Especially if you're the salty, fraggle K. Burley. And America doesn't have the capacity to count tens of millions of votes on election day. Your, your package from, from Pennsylvania was very accurate. So this is an attempt to undermine the the election by Democrat, by the Democrat Party and Democrat governors. And that's why the securest thing you can do is do what I did. Go and vote in person. That is the safe. If you can go to Safeway to buy your groceries, which you can do, then there is nothing to stop you from going to vote at the polling station. You talk about Democrat politicians, but of course, Republican judges have voted that this have decided that this is lawful. No, 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 they haven't. Not in every case. That's incorrect. <laughs> I'm getting someone's more prepared than someone else. If you look at some of the recent Supreme Court decisions, they've said that certain of these uh, new decisions are actually not good and they're not sound, such as the extension certain states wanted to extend for several weeks, the window for counting the ballots, which is outrageous. We used to have a thing called Election Day, which is the day that Americans choose their president. The idea that now we stretch it for two or three weeks is absurd. So, no, and, and when you have the Democrat governors, for example, uh, in Virginia, Ralph Northam say that now suddenly you don't have to verify the signature on the mail-in ballot. Only reason you wouldn't verify a signature on a ballot is to defraud the system, in my opinion. But what say you? Against the signature on the voter rolls, why on what is the good faith argument for that if not some attempt to to rig the election why would you not want to verify the signature so lots of very shady things going on and the president's right if you want to make sure that your vote is secure go to the polling stations starting this morning and vote in person who do you think is trying to rig the election this whole segment from here is sheer class. Pay close attention to pissy knickers facial expressions. Classic. Oh, clearly the Democrats. They, they, have, they have no candidate worthy of mention. Biden is clearly senile. His party has been taken over by radicals who want to ram down our throats socialist concepts like the Green New Deal that would do away with fossil fuels, that would has actually said that the eating of beef is a bad thing. This is a party out of control. The, the former Democrat Party of people like John F. Kennedy or Scoop Jackson is dead. It's a very, very sad day to recognize the Democrat Party of your fathers or your grandfathers is, is long gone, is dead and buried. So those who think that they are in trouble because of this incompetent, senile old man are trying to steal the election. So it's a, it's a sad day. But as long as Americans go to the polls in person, the president will win. Um, however, the president, um, some might say, is potentially inciting violence by um, some of his comments 
on Twitter. We were sharing uh, one of his tweets with our viewers a little bit. And there we go. The same old trope. It's Trump's fault that the lefties are out burning their own cities and murdering people in the streets. It's Trump's fault that did all that. It's not the people that are actually doing it, is it, Kay Burley, you absolute buffoon? Earlier on, and he was saying that uh, he was anxious about violence on the streets in uh, Pennsylvania, and he thought that... um, voting uh, in the way that you have described was was dangerous this is what he um, has said on Twitter I'm not sure if you can see it or not but for the benefit of our viewers who can't <laughs> see this is the level of intelligence we've got with Kay Burley Kay listen to me closely I know this is a hard lesson to learn but if your viewers aren't capable of reading a tweet on your screen they're not viewers they're listeners you flipping idiot <laughs> The Supreme Court decision on voting in Pennsylvania is a very dangerous one. It will allow rampant and unchecked cheating and will undermine our right. entire system of laws. It will also induce violence in the street. Something must be done. Are you saying he's wrong, Kay? Um, is that a particularly presidential tweet? Absolutely, and he is, a, he is completely correct. I'm not sure how being concerned about violence is an incitement to violence that's a very perverse way of looking at things especially after the last 10 months when it is left-wing democrat voters from portland to seattle to baltimore to dc that have created arson havoc and looting to the cost of more than three billion dollars to small business owners so you know the reason that dc is boarded up walk down dc today k And look at the shops that have been boarded up. It looks like Beirut. And why are shop owners painting on the the chip board that has boarded up their shops? Black Lives Matter. We all know why that happens, don't we, everyone? That's uh, appeasement. That's to say, we support you. Please don't burn our shops to the ground or attack the people that live here or work here. Please! Is it not? If not to placate the radical left, it's not. It's not the Trump supporters maybe, that are. Maybe, that are, maybe it's the Trump maybe supporters it's, that are going Maybe it's to because they now. think that Black Lives Matter. <laughs> 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 no, it's because they want to make sure that they're not the ones who have their shops burned to the ground. Come on, show a bit of common sense, please. <laughs> Good luck with that one, Gorker. It is Sky News after all. <laughs> Okay. If it were Trump supporters that, that were the threat, they'd be saying MAGA on the shop fronts, and they're not. So the violence has been normalized by the left, and it is a disgrace. Okay, what about um, Trump telling the far-right group, the Proud Boys, to stand back and stand by? How should we interpret that? And this is where they prove that Sky are not journalists. They don't do any research. They have no knowledge whatsoever other than what they told off Twitter. This is perfect proof of it. It's a bit like taking a banana to a knife fight. Listen to this. Exactly as you said it. Don't take action. Uh, But to stand by? Stand back, stand down, stand by and wait. No, I didn't exactly say stand down, I said stand by, didn't they? Stand by Do you know what the Proud Boys are, Kate Burley? No, she doesn't, obviously. But I do. If you're wondering who the Proud Boys are, everyone, I have done a video on it. I'll leave a card above. Check it out. But I can d- categorically say they ain't far right. Can you tell me what they are? Right, tell me about it. Tell me Tell me what no, they mean you, to you. No, you tell me. No, you tell me. No, no, I'm the interviewer. <laughs> you tell me what they no, mean no, to you. You raised it. Ooh, she's squirming now. You raised it, so tell me why you're asking me. Uh, I'm asking you because it's a far-right organisation, as far as uh, I am aware. Incorrect. Um, and Incorrect. They are... do, you know, do you know who runs okay. the Proud Boys? Please, do you know please, who runs the Proud Boys? I, I, I'm the completely black, ignorant of black. them. Please tell me all about them. Well, that's, that's a real indictment of, of Sky News, that you are ignorant about the organisation you are asking me to comment on live. The Proud Boys okay. is run by a black Cuban-American. So how would that be far right? Okay, so you you don't feel that they are a far right organization? Uh, A far right organization wouldn't be run by a black Cuban American now, would it, Kay? She knows it wouldn't. She she really does. What's the expressions on her face now? I don't know, um, and I'm glad that you are me your you view know. on that. I'm sure I that my view, you know. I'm I sure that you know. my viewers will I make their view, uh, their views on what I'm you're sure saying this morning. I'm sure they will. <laughs>
<laughs> he had her on every turn, didn't he? You could you could see the salt oozing out of her when she was smiling, thinking she'd caught him, and then all of a sudden, slam! <laughs> Seb, I've got to hold my hands up to you. That was probably one of the best interviews I've ever seen on Sky, and you taught them a valuable lesson. Do some research, Sky, you bunch of lazy gits. <laughs> But anyway, I'd like to know your opinion. Did, did you like that? That was entertaining, wasn't it? More of the same, please, Americans. Let's shame the Sky reporters. I say reporters, they don't report on anything anymore. They just give opinions and don't even bother looking into facts, obviously. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. I'll see you on the next one.